Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mommy Boutique. My name is T. Sheena, and it is Friday, Pearl Party Day. We are so grateful that you are here. If this is your first time, welcome. Dorothy, hey. Welcome to the party, guys. Uh, what we do here is we open up scallops and oysters, and they have real pearls inside. We also design custom-made jewelry just for you guys, and you can put your pearl inside. So it is definitely a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys want to order, you can go over to mommyboutique.net. If you don't see that live button over here, if you don't see that live button up at the top of your screen. That means you are watching a replay. So go ahead and hashtag replay if you're here uh, so that I know that you are watching. And also, if you um, have time, go ahead and share this video so that other people can see it. <gasps> Random potato. I'm here. You had no school. Why didn't you have any school today, darling? <clears throat> why did you have no school today all right let me get on my facebook i may not share this to too many places and i i'm not feeling it so i'm probably just going to share it to my what's that hair doing like that share it just to my regular page i think oh a teacher work day those are always fun fun day dorothy how are you all right we're going to share it there and then I'll share it on my regular page. And I think that's it. Like, I'm not even that. I'm not feeling the sharing. I just get tired of sharing all the time, you know? Well, I'm telling you, me and Johnny have been kind of feeling ill. So Johnny's actually not doing his live tonight on TikTok. And I have a sore throat and was also feeling kind of ill. But I didn't want to cancel tonight because, um, you know, I didn't give you guys much warning. So I, I went ahead and came on. They're on vacation. What's the vacation for President's Day? Excuse me. Check out my pearls, you guys. This is called our uh, mixed pearl necklace. This is on the website. You can get this exact one that I'm wearing or uh, different colors. They are all on the website. And these, this necklace, oh my gosh, it comes with a bracelet. Check it out. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know how well you conceal it. Let me put this on it. Oh, I think that actually just made it worse. Well, then that didn't work like I planned. We have a vacation every two months. Hey, Jessica. What's up, girly? The, the BOGO is on the scallops. So it's buy one, get one on the scallops. It's going on until the end of February. It is our Valentine special. Uh, so if you buy one, you get one free. Or if you do the necklace uh, bundle, which is the scallop and the um, cage charm necklace, that is $27. But you'll still get a free oyster. So you'll get two, I mean, a free scallop. So um, also, fun fact, if you are the first order of the night, because there's no pre-orders tonight, uh, you will be getting a free red scallop on me uh, as long as you spend $10 or more. So that means, let's say that you go ahead and do the BOGO, Jessica. Um, if you do the BOGO with these, uh, you'll be spending $18, right? So that's going to automatically get you a free red scallop. So that's going to get you three red scallops for the price of one. That's only for the first order of the night. So just saying, good chance, to, good time to take advantage of that. Hello, Zana. Oh my gosh, I've missed you. How are you? Good to see you, darling. <clears throat> From December to June, it becomes every two months. I've never heard of that. That's really weird. My kids go to school. The only vacation off that my kids have are is the Christmas holiday. Um, and that goes into New Year. And then, of course, Thanksgiving. And then you have summer. That's it. We have summer break, Chris Christmas, and Thanksgiving break. That's it. So I don't know what, what else there is. <gasps> Yay, Jessica! I'm so excited. Ooh, we're going to have an order tonight. Yeah. Ooh, 
So Seashell Shelly could not be here tonight, guys. I do apologize. We had Girl Scouts tonight, so I didn't get home until about 15 minutes ago. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, Seashell Shelly did not have time to get ready to pop on. I apologize. So then it was Seashell Shelly comes on on Fridays, and I know you guys were looking forward to her. But unfortunately, you guys, um, you know, it takes time to make her beautiful. So she didn't have enough time because I just got home, and so she wasn't here yet. So. We have Christmas vacation in December, then February vacation, then April vacation, then summer vacation. Dude, when do they go to school? That's crazy. That's insane in the membrane. But yeah, we've uh, we've all kind of been on and off with colds. I mean, we just can't seem to to shake it. It's when you have kids in the house, it just kind of keeps circling, and that's what's happening again with me and Johnny. Um, I have a sore throat now, but I think it's getting a little better. Let me show you guys this beautiful coral pearl that we got the other day. So I have a few oysters that are stinky winky and we are not opening up right now, but oh, they're really bad. So uh, just like with the scallops, we have elder. I'm sorry. These are the oysters. We have elder scallops as well as elder oysters. So the oysters that say elder oysters, basically all that means is that they're just older oysters. So they're at a discounted rate. Um, they're still amazing. Um, but it's just, they're older. So like the, the shell and stuff cracks a little bit easier. Um, so we do have those in the scallops as well. I don't have them on sale on the website, but we only have like three of them. So I opened one yesterday with Kira. That's why I have that seat behind me, but look at this beautiful coral color. I mean, it is the most gorgeous, beautiful coral, like just so pretty. Uh, this is a freshwater pearl. This one will be going into our orphanage, but I am just so excited about this beautiful color. I did put it up on the um, Mommy Boutique page. If you are um, a fan of that page, if you've liked that page, you will see that video. Isn't that pretty, you guys? I just really loved the color. It was just such a pretty color. Um, this like pinkish, well, definitely like a coral. And um, I was like, man, this is amazing. So this is going to go into our orphanage now. And for those of you who haven't seen our orphanage, we do have a wide variety, which it keeps getting knocked down because when we come in and out, I think the wall, it knocks the wall a little bit. How are you, Zanna? It's good to see you. Now, we do have a lot of whites and peaches in our orphanage. So if anybody is interested in a white or a peach, we do have them at a discounted rate as well just because we get so many. So that it is on the website. Just head over to mommyboutique.net and you can see the discounted rate on so those. Who that? Oh, I think Jessica just placed an order, y'all. Whoop, whoop. All right, so let's get our orphanage ready here. You like my Jurassic Park shirt? <laughs> I got this at Kohl's, you guys, and I was so excited. I also got a Wonder Woman shirt, but they were on sale. It was um two for 10 or something, and I was like, what? So I grabbed me a Wonder Woman and this Jurassic Park one, which I thought was really cute. All right, so here is our freshwater orphanage. And like I said, if you see a lot of whites and peaches, it's because we get a lot of those in our orphanage. But um, if you ever did want a white or a peach, we do have them at a discounted rate. Or you can always trade your pearl for it or a white or a peach too. There you go. So that is our orphanage. All right. I am dying to see. All right, cool. Switch over to YouTube. Sounds good. <gasps> Yay, Jessica. All right. Let me go over to my email really quickly. Do do. So exciting. Jessica is the first order of the night, you guys. All right. Thank you, Jessica. I did get your order. Let me uh, set that up for you. All right. Because Jessica's the first order of the night, guys, she is going to be getting a free red scallop. You get the free red scallop anytime you're the first order and there's no pre-orders. Um, and you spend over $10. And she definitely did all three of those. So she's going to be getting a free red scallop. And then she took advantage of our BOGO offer, which is buy one, get one free on the red scallops. So she's going to be getting three oysters. I'm sorry, three scallops for the price of one. You fell asleep early. Oh my gosh. 
Jessica, is this your first time ordering? I feel like it's not. But then again, no, you've ordered before. I remember. It was way early on, though, right? It was, like, early, early on. So we got three red scallops. Also, you get to play a game. Woo -woo. Nope, what? No, you haven't ordered yet? So is this your first order? No. I feel like you've ordered before. I don't know. Maybe just because you're always here, I feel like you did. I know, I'm so excited, Zana. Jessica's here. What? Yeah. All right, let me get my finger, as you guys like to call them, finger condoms on. Naughty girls. You guys are a bunch of mother suckers. That's what you are. We're mother suckers putting on my finger condoms. What is up with me tonight, y'all? I thought you ordered before. I knew you did. I was like, wait a minute. Yay, I'm so excited, Jessica. Shanda's on. What? Girl, I haven't seen Shanda in forever. What's up, Shanda? Hey, all your peeps are over on YouTube, just so you know. <laughs> Giving you a heads up. If you want to talk to Zana and Jessica, head over to YouTube. YouTube is the place to be tonight. Yeah, it's really funny because um, I get, this is this is legit. I get more views on Facebook, right? So like as far as the viewer viewership, I get more views on Facebook. But nobody ever talks on Facebook. It's really weird. Like, and and I'll even talk to later, like I'll, I'll talk to somebody who was watching my video and I'll be like, hey, weren't you on my live? And they'll be like, yeah, I was just listening to you. But they never talk. But then on Facebook, I mean, on YouTube, it's like everybody talks. So it's, it's really weird, the dynamics. It's really strange. So people on Facebook, they just kind of like, like watch in the distance or they just kind of like, what do they call it? Stock? I don't know what they call it. But anyway. Oh, we have to practice shape shucking. I know. I get pretty, I get pretty bad with that knife. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. Facebook, I mean, uh, YouTube is much faster. Facebook glitches a lot on me too. I don't think they like me much. All right. So you get to play a game, my love. I talk. Yeah, you do talk, Dorothy. Now you used to not. All right. So you get to play a game. You can choose to either play the shells, the sea creatures, or the spin wheel. Let me show you. I know you already know, but I'm going to show you anyway. So here's the sea creatures. Each of these have a different color on the bottom. And that color represents either a prize or a splash. If you get a splash, that means you lose. Um, you were splashed and you didn't get a prize. Our shells... Make sure you can't see the things are numbered from one. I don't know, maybe like one to 12 or something. I'm not sure. Some of them, I have three different sets. Actually, I think I have like five different sets to be honest, but um, so I can't remember what they're all numbered, but you pick a number and it's going to have either a prize, an orphan, a shock, all kinds of things on the bottom. So that's that. And then we have our spin wheel or our pin wheel, whatever you guys want to call it. I think it's called a pin wheel. Um, and this is the same. So you could either get another scallop. You can get a charm. You can get an orphan pearl. Um, you can get a prize. So, yeah, there's all kinds of fun things. So what would you like to play first? Yeah, you've really come out of your shell. Womp, womp. Oyster pun. I got it. You're so funny. <laughs> Dorothy's over there on Facebook, and she's like, uh, I was like, you know, people don't talk over there. And she's like, but I talk. And I was like, yeah, now finally, because she used to just stand, just sit there and watch. And she's like, yeah, I've really come out of my shell. Ha, <laughs> ha. You want to do the sea creatures? You got it. The sea creatures. Okay, place for my box. Okay. We have a cute dolphin. Hello. Uh oh, they're sticking together. An octopus. A red crab. Paxton is choosing. All right, Paxton, you better choose a good one. All right. A green turtle. You are funny. Funny looking. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, you are. You always make me laugh. Okay. And then we have a frog, a duck, and a sea star. So over here is a dolphin. Then we have the octopus. We have the crab, the pink fish, the green turtle. We have the sea star, the duck. 
and the frog. What will it be, Paxton? Sorry, showing you all my fat rolls. That's why they make pants this like high up, right? Like I can't wear hip huggers. It's got to be like the ones that cover my, my fat rolls. <laughs> True story. All right. He said the blue dolphin. Let's see what that one is. And it is an orange. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what the orange is. All right, orange, pink, yellow, orange. Here we go. Ready? Here's the orange. And you got, oh, you have been splashed. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm so sorry, Paxton. You did not win a prize that time, but that's okay. You got three oysters to open. So no hard feelings there. We still got lots of fun to be had. Right? Right. Sorry, Paxton. <clears throat> okay, let me put these games away. And then we can get to shuck in. Are you guys ready to shuck it? I am so excited to shuck it. I can't even tell you. I've been waiting to shuck it all week. What? <laughs> all right. Well, good news for you, Miss Jessica. You actually get all three of these, so you don't even have to choose tonight. Normally, you would choose one. You're going to get all three. So what you're going to have to choose or what you're going to have to decide is what colors are you hoping for? Paxton, you know what color you want? So we got one, two, and three. What color are you hoping for, Paxton? Oh, yes. If you get a red, Paxton, if you get a red, you will get a free prize, okay? Um, now, most of it's jewelry, just giving you a warning, so you probably have to pick it out for your mom, but that's okay. Although, you might like jewelry. I don't know. I don't know. You might like jewelry. Lots of kids like jewelry. Oh, shuck, yeah. <laughs> Dorothy, you're, you're, going, you're on a roll tonight. Dorothy says, oh, shuck, yeah. He has the biggest smile. Aw. All right, listen up, Paxton. Here we go. We got to put some mermaid juice on it, although I'm not a mermaid. We'll put some seashell sheena juice on it instead. Oh, good. I'm glad you like jewelry. My husband likes jewelry, too, completely honest. All right, here we go. We're hoping for a red, guys. So what I need from all of you is some red emojis. Put up those red emojis, Dorothy. Come on, guys. You got to send her some red love. That way she can get some more goodies. Here we go. We're going to put some seashell sheena juice on it. And we tap them three times for luck. All right. Now let's check out your scallop really quickly because this guy has, look at this really cool thing. Look at this, Paxton. Paxton. He's got a barnacle. Do you see that? Look at how cool that is. It's like this little barnacle on the bottom of his shell. Oh, I'm loving those red emojis. Put them up. Yeah. All right, and here's the back. Oh, look, it's even got more down there. Kind of looks like Pirates of the Caribbean, the ship. What is his name? Um, Davy Jones's ship. You know how, like, all of them turn into, like, barnacles and stuff? That's kind of cool. All right, so here comes the first one. I just had to show you that shell because it was kind of cool looking. We are hoping for a red. First one up. Let's see what we're going to get. We got a blue. Holy cow. A beautiful blue. It's like a midnight blue. Oh my gosh, Jessica. That is gorgeous. Paxton, do you see this? Look at this blue. It's like the most beautiful dark blue. It looks like a black almost, but it's a midnight blue, like the night sky. Isn't that pretty? Wow. So gorgeous. Man. So Paxton, this is a really cool shell. Would you like to keep it? Because I can clean it off for you, you know, and I can send it to your mommy and then you can keep it in your little treasure box because that is a really cool shell with all those barnacles on it. I don't mind cleaning it off. I bleach them out for you. Get them all nice and clean. I'll put it aside just in case you want it. Okay. If you don't want it, that's all right. 
but <clears throat> I'll put it aside for you just in case you do. The special gift from Seashell Sheena to Paxton, okay? i put it over here. Oh, he wants it. Awesome. All right, number two. Here we go. Number two. What did we get in here? Oh, it's a white. Ooh, a beautiful angel white. Whoops. An angel white. That. This is the epitome of the pearl right here. This is what most people think pearls are supposed to look like because this is what they did look like back in the olden days. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful white. Perfectly white. And I'll go ahead and take all of this stuff off of here. I know you may not want to keep them all, but just in case. Ooh, maybe not that one. That one's got like some black crud in it. Ew. When they have like gross stuff on them, I don't want to keep them because I don't know if they have like fungus or something. But that first one was cool. <laughs> he goes, that is mine, right? Oh, that the white one or the blue one? All right, here we go. Last one. Hello, Chaz. How are you? Oh, my gosh. It's been a little bit since I've seen you. All right, here we go. Oh, it looks like another white. Oh, my goodness. Now, remember, you can trade since you got two of the same color. Look at that. What is up, David? How are you? Great for you to drop in. Can we see it? Beautiful, just beautiful. This is a good show. We'll keep this one. Paxton, what do you think? Now, don't worry, Paxton. You can always trade those oysters in. Those, um, I'm sorry, those pearls in. I keep calling these oysters. These are scallops. I don't know why I always do that. That's the part that you eat right there, right? No, you can't eat those. These, though. These are soaked in alcohol. You do not want to eat these. Plus, they arrive dead, so you never know how long they've been. They've been dead. You don't want to eat those. All right. Now, for the fun part, we're going to measure them up and see how big they are. And then we'll look at the orphans and see if you want to trade. You don't have to trade. You can keep them all, or you can trade. It's up to you. That blue one is really, really pretty, though. And the whites, oh, wow, the shine on those whites are really nice. All right, so let's measure. We'll start with this beautiful blue one. I can make this into like a studded necklace if you want, or we do have um, a whole bunch of charms. We do have some black charms if Paxton likes charms. Um, oh, what's going on with my thing? Is it dying? Hold on a second. My measuring thing is not working. Do I have the other one? I used to have two. Or I still have two. I just don't know what I where I did the, put the other one. Oh, no. Hopefully I can get this to work, Jess. It's like acting all wonky. Zero it out. There we go. No, that's definitely not right. There we go. 7.6. So pretty good size. They are gorgeous. The white ones, yeah, they are really pretty. Okay, here's your first white one. Looks like a little bit of an off white. And the cool thing about this one. Paxton is it has a little hat. <laughs> Have you ever seen those Jewish, those Jewish monks or whatever they're called? I'm not sure what they're called, but it looks like it has one of those Jewish hats on. It's got like a little line on the top of it. It's a 7.3. I don't know how good you can see it in this angle. But at the very top, it has like a crease. It looks like he's wearing a little hat. It's kind of cool. All right, last white one. This one looks more like a teardrop because it's got like a pointed end on the top of it. A 7.7, .7, so all really nice sizes. Uh, we can make these into jewelry for you. Um, Jessica, I do have a beautiful angel wing that would look great with one of your white ones, or even that blue one, too. So you can do that, or I can drill just a plain stud in the top of them. Those go for, like, $5.
or 10, depending on which one you want. And then of course you can put them in a um, charm if you want as well. The little white crab. Yeah, the little white crab. Oh, my little white crab, this guy. <laughs> I don't know how good you're being able to see that because I can't tell if it's blurry. Yeah, I'm wearing it. Yeah, I love my crab. <clears throat> I have him in red too. Not the same one. It's a different one. It's called the cutie crab ring. And I have that one in red. I'm just not wearing it right now. There we go. Paxton, get a look at that. So you can kind of see the different color use of the white. So one of them is more like an off white and the other one is like an angel wing, angel feather white. Oh, it's blurry. All right, so one, this is the off-white, the teardrop type one. This is the white, white. Oh, you can't see the crease in him though. And look at that midnight blue. Do you see the shine on that? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Stunning, Jessica, wow. The angel wing, yeah, that is on the website. It's, um. It's got diamonds on the end of it. I do have one that I wear. I should bring it out. Um, if you give me a minute, I can go grab it for you. Um, it's really, really pretty. All right, let me show you our orphans. Now, if you have a certain color in mind, let me know because I don't have all of our orphans out here. Um, these are just the ones that kind of have been traded throughout this time. So if you want a specific color, let me know because I have a whole bin of them, okay? All right, so here's what we have in the orphanage right now. We do have some blues and some pinks and some greens. And some oranges. We got some purples in there. Lots of like white um, and the peaches because those are what's trade the most. Thank you, Dorothy. You lost me. What? Can you still see me? I'm still here, I promise. You lost me where? Well, I'm gonna keep on talking until I know. So also, Jessica, this is some of our or the orphans as well. Oh, that's so weird. I'm sorry. Okay. What did you miss? What I was saying is you can get orphans. Okay. So these are some of our orphans. We have all different colors. Um, so if you want a specific color of orphan, let me know. Uh, and if you want to trade, you don't have to trade. It's just an option. And then this is our orphanage. Um, again, this orphanage is not as colorful as I would like, but this is because it's the orphanage. So it gets picked through. Uh, so if there's a specific color, we do have yellows, greens, uh, pinks, oranges, you know, all kinds of colors. So just let me know. Uh, I may even have a red in there. Okay. I think I have a red. Let me see. I think I do. Okay. So it's more of like an orangey. Hmm. It's like a fire red. Yeah, it's more like a fire, like, um, hold on. Ooh, that's a fat one. Yeah, it looks like we got picked through with all the reds, but I do have, they're like the, um, the bright fiery reds. So they're not like the ruby red slipper reds, but more like of an orangey red. And I'll put like an orange next to it just so you can see how much more red it is. Here we go. So here are two oranges next to the orange reds, just so you, for having comparison. There you go. Oh, don't do that to me. There we go. Is it focusing yet? Let 
the far red one. So this big one, that's actually a really big one too. I don't know why this thing keeps going negative on me. Hmm. I'm trying to zero it out and it just keeps going negative. Wow, a really nice size on that one, a 7.7. .7. Oh, a 7.8. It's a good size. All right. So which one did you want to trade it for? The one that's like a teardrop shaped white or the blue or the other white, which is like the off white. I'll show you. So the two in the middle are the white ones. And then, of course, your beautiful blue there on the end. For a white one. Well, why not keep that cute one with the hat and we'll trade the pointy one that sound good uh, yeah okay good that was that was my thought too the, the she said the teardrop okay so we'll keep the one with the hat <laughs> i forgot what those are called what are those called all right hold on i'm trying to look for my little tweezers so that i can get these in line for you okay here we go, Paxton. Wow, that is a really pretty one. That moment when you have have negative pearl. What? That went over my head. Won't, won't. I didn't get it. Okay, there we go. Look at this. Paxton, there's your beautiful orange red. It's like a fire red. We got your beautiful angel white and that midnight blue. Oh my gosh, how pretty. White, red, and blue. <laughs> red, white, and blue. Oh my gosh. I didn't even notice that you did that, Jessica. That's awesome. Oh, say does something, something. Yeah, I should know that. By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hail. Oh my gosh, that's kind of creepy. Do you guys see the, the image that's in there? I swear to God, it looks like angel wings and like a human. Do you see that image? Holy crap, that's creepy. It's the lens of the camera, but look at it. It looks like a freaking angel. Do you see this? That is insane. I can't stop looking at that. Jessica, do you see what I'm talking about? That's got some beautiful luster on it, but the image, <laughs> I have to move it because it's freaking me out. Here we go. That was actually really cool. Let's see if it was, it's there again. Look, it's still there. It's the only one it has. It looks like it's the reflection from the salt. So that blue one there, Jessica, is very, very high luster. Um, and I know we've talked about this before, but even if the pearls are not really, really big, the shinier the pearls are, the more uh, they're worth. So that blue one, as you saw, is very shiny. That was freaking awesome. It looked like a man with angel wings. I swear to God, that was so weird. I've never seen that on any of the pearls before. That might be a blessed pearl. I would definitely wear that one a lot. <laughs> you might have a, a beautiful angelic pearl. Fun fact, guys. Um, it's actually said in different cultures that pearls can bring you wealth and good health. And um, also that they're blessed because in um, like ancient times, it was said that um, Mary, Mother Mary, cried tears in heaven and they turned into pearls so some pearls like the white pearls are say uh, are angelic obviously i don't know if that's true but it's kind of a fun fact or a fun myth i guess anyway i love learning fun history folklore stuff about pearls that was cool right jessica did you see that that was really neat oh geez because he said he keeps negative it keeps going negative oh <laughs> 
Well, Jessica, thank you so much for your order. I'm so, so excited. If you want me to drill any of these, let me know. Um, there, like I said, we have different studs and things on the uh, website that you can order starting from $5 going up to 10, 15, depending on the setting that you want. And then obviously if you want to do the um, boutique jewelry line, which you can get the angel angelic wing to go with that white one. Um, those are a little more, but just so you know, because it's, it's also a special, um, if you get any of our boutique jewelry line for me to drill, you will get a free oyster opening. So don't add an oyster. Um, you'll get one for free the next time that you watch. Okay. Or if you do it tonight, you can do it tonight. So, um, uh, also remember because you already paid for shipping, make sure you do local pickup so that you don't have to pay for shipping again. If you add on, you don't have to just giving you that information in case you want it. By the way, that hat is called a yarmulk. Were you a yam a yamaka a yamaka? Thank you, thank you. That's what the hat is called. So this one, oh, you guys didn't get to see that. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can show it in the camera because this one here has a yamaka. Thank you, Dorothy. Let me see if you can actually see it. Paxton, tell me if you can see this yamaka. Hold on. So this pearl right here, this white one. Oh, I don't think you can see it. It's very subtle. So hold on. I'm trying to see if you can. Nope. Kind of maybe. I don't know. There's like a little line at the top of the pearl and it looks just like a yarmulke hat. I don't know how good you can see it because it's very subtle, but it's kind of cute. <laughs> All right. So anyway, thank you again, Jessica. Woohoo! So exciting. So guys, the um, the night is still young. If you guys want to place an order, head over to mommyboutique.net. And um, we do have our specials, which I'll go over again with you guys. So we do have BOGO on our scallops, which is what Jessica just took advantage of. You won't be getting the first order special, so you'll, uh, you won't be getting that free one. But you'll be getting buy one, get one free if you want the scallop. You can do the same thing for the necklace. So if you do the bundle, which is $27, you're going to get a um, scallop and a necklace. And that will be $27, but you're going to get a free scallop with that as well. Um, we do have buy any boutique jewelry line item right now. And you're going to get a free oyster opening. So you just uh, do not add an oyster with your boutique item because I will add it for you. Unless you're getting earrings and then uh, go ahead and add one just so you can either trade it for twins or... Uh, you can play the pirate game, which is our, our new um, treasure chest game. They're about a, I guess, a 50-50 chance of getting pearls. I mean, there's one without pearls and three with it, so more than a 50-50 chance, but, you know, you do that. Uh, and then also, if you get a red pearl, if you actually open up a red pearl, you will get a free gift from me, so... I have a ton of stuff for boys necklaces. Um, usually the black silhouette ones, which I can show you in just a second. My husband likes the dragons. Um, he has a couple of the dragons. Hold on, let me put all your shells away. And I'll bleach out your shells and get them all ready for you. All right, so jewelry-wise, let's see what we got. All right, so here are some boy ones. We have a cool looking, now these are these are our silver. Now these are not sterling silver, these are silver plated and they are made with alloy, just so you know. All right, so here is a cool skull with a rose in his mouth. Oh, come on camera. So it's a skull, top hat and a rose. That one's kind of cool. Then we have some bats, if you like Batman. Oh, I do actually have some Batman ones, too, like the actual bat symbol. So we have a bat. Oh, why my camera is being so funky. It's being funky, y'all. By the way, that ha Oh, thank you. I yeah, I'm reading that again. Okay. There we go. Bat. And let's see, I do have a Mickey Mouse in here. Oh, I have a dagger. Daggers are boyish. We have a cool dagger. I have over 300 pieces of jewelry, Jessica. So if you want to take your time and just kind of look through it all, I do have them on my Facebook page, but they are in different folders um, depending on the colors that you want. Goodness, I can't get this to be there. 
So we have a folder for the silver. We have a silver. We have a folder for the black. Uh, it's called silhouette. We have a folder for the rainbow and then a folder for the gold. So you'd have to look through each folder separately. I know that gets kind of annoying for some people and I'm trying to work it in. So I have a way that you guys could see all of my jewelry without having to do that. Um, I think. I thought this was a Ninja Turtle, but somebody told me this was a masquerade mask, but it looks like a Ninja Turtle to me. But I think it's a, I think it is a masquerade mask because of those feathers, but I thought it was like a Ninja Turtle. So I don't know. Give the camera a pep talk and tell it to focus at the task at hand. You are just full of puns today, my love. All right. So there's some of them. I have a ton. I mean, I can keep going. Um, we have boots. Does he like boots? These boots are made for walking. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This one's kind of cute. Just a little deer head. And that's just what they'll do. Then I have boots. One of these days, these boots are going to walk all over you. Elephant tea. Those are more girly. As I said, I could show you all night. You like the deer? Okay. Paxton yelled focus. I can definitely get you that deer. Let's see if there's any black ones in here. Um, oh, there's a fish. A black fish. Um, we have a chameleon. He's kind of cute. We can go with the deer though. I have, like I said, I can keep showing them. I have a ton. Um, we have uh, silhouette ones, gold ones, all kinds. We have the Batman symbol. But if he likes deer, oh dear. Let's see if this is actually going to fit. He is liking the deer. The deer is really cool. Okay, so which one is his? Did he get the blue one or the white one? Oh, no, he got the red one. Never mind. He got the red one. What if it's a Ninja Turtle with at a masquerade ball? Yeah, good point. The red one, yep. Okay, so let's see if it's going to fit just to make sure. Here we go. Oh, my gosh, it looks really cute. Look at that, Paxton. I love it. Look at that. So neat. So when you order it, just order the charm and I will gift him the necklace. Okay. So you can order a $2 necklace separately, but don't just, just order the charm. I will gift him Paxton. I'm going to give you the, the, the chain. Okay. Does he like, um, we have a 16 inch chain, which is like mostly for kid size. So for us, it would be kind of like a choker. And then the 18 inch, which is what this size is pretty much an 18 inch. Um, and then I have a 20 four inch which is really long so it would be like down here but i'm guessing he would probably like um the 16 inch i do have a ball chain too and the ball chain has those balls on it so it's like thick it's more made for boys um i mean it's not really made for boys but more boys like that one he's tiny okay yeah, so if you if you order or when you order that, just order the charm, which is ten dollars. Don't order the chain. He would say whatever will hold up. <laughs> yeah, let's do the ball one just so, so you can see it. Let me grab it really quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Hold on, I gotta shimmy around my closet. And I'll show you what I'm talking about, Paxton. Now, the only thing is, I think these are kind of long, though. Hmm. I wonder if I have a smaller one. I can go digging around later to find out if I have a smaller one somewhere, but it looks like all of these ones are kind of long. I'll show you anyway. 
This one too, yeah. Okay, so these are actually kind of long. So these are probably 24 inches. I thought they were smaller. All right, well, let me show you the ball chain just so you can see it, darling. This is what I was talking about. So these are really nice because they're big and heavy duty. So a lot of boys like them, but this is quite long. I don't know if you'd, if he would want to wear this one, just so you can see it's, okay, it's not as long as I thought, but, oh, so it's 18 inches. Okay, so it's like a normal necklace size, 18 inches. So it's not too, too bad, but on a kid, it probably looked pretty long, but it is heavy duty. So this is the ball. That's the ball chain. And then the other ones, I do have in a 16 inch, which is smaller. Okay, so then this one is the 16 inch, just to kind of give you a comparison. And this is our normal necklaces um, for usually, like if you don't specify what, what kind you want, you're gonna get this kind. This is just called a snake chain. So, and you see how much smaller this one is? So that's what those look like. And just to show you how big it is, it's like a choker to me. <laughs> These gloves make it hard. So that's how, see how big it is. All right, snake chain it is. All right, so let's test it out. Make sure it fits good. Woohoo! Look at that beauty. What you think, Paxton? Is that a winner? Looks good. The pearl's not in it because I already put it back. Because, you know, these are precious, so you don't want to lose them. I think that looks amazing. So there you go, Paxton. You're all set. Awesome, buddy. You got all kinds of goodies tonight. Bet you weren't expecting all that loving. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen at Sheena's Pearl Parties. You always got to stick around. Fun has arrived. He definitely can wear that to school. Absolutely. And pearls are considered to be good luck. So maybe you'll, uh, you know, meet a girlfriend or do good on a test. I don't know. I don't even know how old you are. So I don't know if you're even into girls, but you know. <laughs> your mom's probably like sheena that's how i am with my son i can't even go there he's seven yeah so not yet yeah i'm not i'm so not ready i can't even comprehend that of course my son's only three but my oldest daughter is 12 and i'm like i don't know if i'm ready for her to fall in love you know like i know she's still young so i don't think it's going to happen anytime soon but Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, well, thank you guys. Mwah. Jessica, what an exciting evening. Oh my gosh. So different. Yeah. I, I'm just, you know, when I was younger, I, I look back and I'm like, if my kids did what I did when I was younger, I'm going to flip out. I was very young when I fell in love for the first time. Um, when I met David, actually, he was he was on my stream just a minute ago. I don't know if he's still there. But um, when I met David, I believe I was like 14. Um, so I was very young. And Kira's 12. So I'm thinking in two years, if she falls in love with the love of her life, um, you know, I'm like, my gosh, like, I really thought that he was the one like I was going to marry him and have his kids and everything, you know, because that's what you think when you're that young, you just fall in love. And that's it. And so I'm like, gosh, you know, in two years, she could be at that point. And I'm just I'm like, really, because I just don't see it. You know what I mean? I'm not ready. I still see her as this little girl. So it's crazy to me. Very, very weird. Anyway, thanks again, Jessica. I'm so excited. Paxton, what an awesome job you did picking out all that beauty. So guys, just so you know, the orders are still open. You can still go over to mommyboutique.net and get the specials. So the specials will be ending here at the end of the month. 
And also remember that any of your orders over $25 gets you entered into our monthly raffle. We do a raffle every single month for anybody who's ordered in the month of that. Well, this must be February. So if any of you guys have ordered in the month of February, you will be entered into this as long as you've spent $25 or more. So um, we haven't decided what we're actually raffling off yet. I've been kind of slacking at that. I guess we'll find out the night of. Maybe it'll be like a surprise. I don't know. Um, usually I base the prize on the amount of sales because the more sales I get, the higher the prize I can give away. Um, so if I don't have a lot of sales that month, then I won't be able to give as much away. But so we'll be doing that this month. I'll probably be giving away um, one of my jewelry items. Maybe not a boutique jewelry item, but maybe like an already made one. Maybe like my crab ring, which you guys have been like loving on lately. So maybe, maybe that'd be it. We shall see. Maybe I'll do a vote on like uh, Instagram and let you guys choose. Wow. Yeah. It's weird for you because you watch all the kids grow up. You know, I had that same experience, Zana, because I work in a uh, church nursery. Had my first relationship at 14. And that was when I was saying, I don't have a boyfriend yet. So I'm going to be alone the rest of my life. Oh, my gosh. Um. So I work in a church's nursery and I've worked, well, childcare, and I've worked there for seven years, right? So I started out with babies, you know what I mean? Like the babies and now they're seven. So that's insane to me because when you think about that, they're like in what, second or third grade. Um, and I'm like, this is insane. And then with some of my preschoolers um, who were, I guess, five when I had them, um, now are like going into middle school. And I'm like, how is this even possible? Cause, and they're like, they're like teenagers. And, and so I, I see that all the time and it's insane because they'll come up to me, they'll run up to me and be like, Miss Sheena. And I'm like, I rubbed your back at nap time and like took you to the potty and, you know, opened up your applesauce and here you are hugging me as like a teenager and like, what? <laughs> It's insane. It's insane. Did you miss anything? Uh, yeah, honey, we opened up three scallops and looked at a whole bunch of jewelry. You missed everything. Party's over now. Forget it. Might as well just go home. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, you did miss a lot. If you guys can help me, and I know I've asked this every single time, but I cannot, I've been racking my brain and I cannot figure it out. How can I set up the jewelry so that it's easier for you guys to scroll through it um, and see everything. Because right now I have them all in folders, which has been working okay. But um, it gets to the point where you guys are having a hard time because I have over like 300 items worth of jewelry. So you're scrolling, 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 scroll, scrolling, 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 scrolling. So you're going to keep scrolling for a while. And if you're on your phone, that gets annoying. So I really... Um, oh, you did see the scallops. Okay, then you're good. But yeah, I really want to figure out a way to showcase all of them um, where you can actually see them. Because what I originally did is I put them, I, I did this like Canva little thing. Uh, I, I use Canva all the time. And I tried to line them up on the top and make them smaller. But what happened is because I was trying to line so many up in the same thing, they got too small and you couldn't see them. So I need a way to make them big enough to where you guys can see them and I can put the name underneath them so you can like, comment on the one you want, but also where it doesn't make you guys scroll for hours. So I don't know how I'm going to do it. I haven't figured it out yet. It also helps me um, keep track of the ones you want. Like for instance, with Paxton getting the deer, I'll just go over to my Facebook page in a minute and click on the deer and then I'll erase one number. So I'll know that, Hey, we don't have 10 left now. We have nine left or however many left, which helps me keep my inventory as well. So um, I do like that aspect of it, but the, the part that it's hard for you guys is that, for instance, um, if you're looking for, if you're looking through the jewelry and not sure what you want, you end up going to the silver, but maybe you want the black, but you never got to the black because you already picked one out in the silver. You know what I mean? So because it's separated, I don't know how else to do it. Maybe you guys can help me. All right. So I do have some cute ones, guys. I'm just going to show you while we're talking. Look, we have the Cinderella carriage. This is a new one. Um, it is up on the on the Facebook page, but I got this like last month or the month before. So fairly new. Cute. And then another fairly new one is our treasure chest to go with our new treasure chest game. 
This one will actually fit two pearls in there. And let's see what this one is. Oh, look at this one. So cute. It's a koala and her baby. So it's like a koala mama and baby. Isn't that cute? So thinking cute. And then, of course, we have the flower from Rapunzel. Flower, gleam, and glow. And we have the rose from Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Now, on the Facebook page, I can't actually say, like, Cinderella stuff. I mean, I may have, but I try not to because I know that's copyright. And if Disney ever wanted to, like, go after me, they could. And we have a water fall or water splash thingy. Koala items you got there. Oh, quality. Oh, my God. I didn't even read that right. Quality items. How does the pearl sit in the rose? Oh, good question, my love. Well, let's find out. I don't know why Shelly popped in for a second. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing her tonight. All right. Well, let's put a purple in there. Give it a moment. It's it's just thinking. It's thinking. What is it focusing on? Is there something that's like, fo maybe my shirt. Hold on, I'll just put this thing on it. You see it? So it sits right there in the middle. Yes, it is really pretty, especially if you had a red pearl too, that would look really nice. Now it does kind of cover up the pearl a bit, but you can still see the color. I don't know why it's not focusing for me. Ay, ay, ay. It's almost as if y'all are the same person. You and your cousin must be close. <laughs> yeah, totally. And then, of course, we have the conch shell. So these are just some of the ones that I have out. Oh, this one's really pretty. This one's like a rose with a flower. I mean, a, a flower with the heart at the bottom. Isn't that nice? So, yeah, guys, you guys got to check out all my charms on the Facebook page. I got a ton. I think you guys are missing out on all of our charms. Look at this, a Minnie Mouse. In one of the round openings, kind of fresh water, it just depends on the size of the freshwater pearl, to be honest with you. Um, you just have to test it. So that's why I always say te I test it before because um, it depends. It really depends on the size. Look at how cute this Minnie Mouse is, guys. So, yeah, I'm showing you guys these one so you can see. But also, I think you guys miss out on all of those awesome charms uh, just because it's so jumbled on my on my uh, Facebook page, it's hard because now I have so many photos that you have to like scroll through. All hell the magic conch. Yeah, right? I wanna show you the Batman one, Jessica. I know he already picked, but I just wanted to show you. So here's the Batman. Batman. So like the freshwater pearls will fit in these round openings. Um, these one work really well. Again, it just depends on the size, but these type of rounds, they work good with the fresh. This is a freshwater pearl right here. And the freshwater pearls, you have to be kind of mindful of the um, charm that you pick because um some of them are weird shaped so like like Zana was saying if it's a perfectly round hole in your charm it may not fit the freshwater pearl that you have so what is this so we have a star it's cute 
That would be cool with a yellow pearl. Totally. They're also cute. I need to be able to get something soon. Yeah, girl. This is like that hand. Um, it's called something. It's like a Hindu Hindu thing. I forgot what it's called. Oh, here's a wrestling mask, Jessica. This guy's kind of cool with like a Lu Luinchen or whatever it's called. Those wrestling, those Mexican wrestlers. Kind of cool. That's definitely a boy one. Uh, what else do we got? So we got a heart with string at the top of it, which is kind of cute. Like a forget me not. Are y'all yelling at the camera? It's not working. Come on, camera. Still not working. I apologize. I can't sit still. So, like, I can't hold something still for the life of me. I've never been able to even draw a straight line. <laughs> oh, this is Zana's favorite. The wine glass. What? Then we have a cute ladybug. Come on, camera. Focus on your job. That's literally your job. I know. You have one job, camera. One job. Cute little ladybug. And, oh, these are beautiful. Look at these. These are like high heel, high heel shoes. Really, really fancy smancy. Or fancy Nancy, as my daughter would call it. Those are fancy Nancy, mama. Quit it. This which should fit more than one pearl, possibly even three pearls, depending on the size. So some of my charms will fit more than one. I could keep going. I don't know if y'all want me to. Then we have dragons. I'll show you some of the dragons. Ah! I got stuff falling. All right. Let me show you some of the dragons and then I'm done. I promise. Guys, we are still taking live orders, so please let me know if you want to go ahead over to the website. Oh, we got another one. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> what did we get? What did we get? Oh, it's from Jessica. Woohoo! A cage pendant from Jessica. Aw, Jessica. All right, so hold on. Let me show you. We also have, this is the one that my husband has, this black dragon. We have a black dragon. And then we have this silver looking mean dragon. I feel like the silver ones have a shine on it. So maybe that's why it's not focusing as good. And the pearl sits right there on his tail. And is that it? Oh, we have a cool little um, shark. Daddy shark. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, airplanes too. Those are definitely boyish airplanes. We have a gun. Not that he'd want that because he's only seven. I think that's it. Anyway, I have a ton. I can keep going. I didn't show you any of my gold ones. I stopped buying the gold ones though. First, because a lot of people didn't really buy the gold, but second, because the gold is gold plated and it really chips off really fast, more so than even the silver. It's a little elephant. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of cute. Anyway, okay, I did. I promise. I did. That looks like one of the Dargo dragons from Game of Thrones. It might be. It might be. Yeah, again, guys, I have like 300 things of jewelry, so <clears throat> definitely if you have time to go over to the Facebook page, it's not on the website. Maybe I can put it on the website. Hmm. I wonder if I should do that instead. 
I wonder, you know, guys, what do you think about that? Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a poll. Um, so right now, all of my charms, which again, there's like 300 of them. They're all on my Facebook page. I don't have any on my website. One of the reasons why I did that was because when I first started, I only had one charm of each. So basically, like, for instance, with Jessica, if she wanted that deer, then that was it. Like, I only had one. But since I've grown, uh, I'm able to buy in bulk now. So most of my charms, I have more than one. Most of them. Some of them I don't. But um, most of them I do. So what do you guys think? Should I put them up on my website? And then I can have a category for charms. And then instead of going through the Facebook page, you guys can just choose the charm right there on the website. Would that be better? I just didn't do that because, um, like I said, it was just, I would be updating the website every single day if I did that because we would go through the charms so quickly. But now I have, I think with almost all of my charms, I at least have 10. So I think that would probably be worth it. What do you guys think? Should I keep them on the Facebook page or should I put them on the website, have a little category for them, and then you guys can just choose from there? Would that be easier? Because I've been trying to figure out a way to make it easier for you guys to choose your charms. All right, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Jessica, you just ordered. So do you think it would have been easier for you to go to the website and instead of just ordering a, just a charm, like actually being able to pick out the charm that you wanted, would that have been better, you think? Or would that have been like more difficult because it gave you more choices? I don't know. I'm trying to make it easier for you guys. But I would have a, a category just like I do with all the other ones right now. So I would have a category that said charms. And then you click on that and then it would bring you all the charms. I actually think that might be the best idea because I haven't been able to figure out a way to do it. I think I'm going to do that. I, I really do. I think I'm going to do that. What do you guys think, though? Because I don't want to make it harder on you. You guys are the ones ordering. <clears throat> Did I lose you guys again? Did I freeze? What happened? Dragons! I don't know what happened. You guys all stopped talking. So I'm wondering if I just froze. If you can hear me, say hello. Can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? Oh, there we go. Dana, finally talk. Okay. So do you think that would be better? Okay. I may do that. Well, cause I was just thinking, I was like, how can I make it easier? But I'm thinking if you do that, then you would, you would update it too much and it would be hard. Well, that's what I was thinking. But the good thing about my website, um, Shaylin, Shaylin, the good thing about my website is whatever you order, it will keep inventory for me. So if uh, Jessica was to order that, uh, deer and I had 10, then it would update it to be nine. So then when it got to zero, it would actually say sold out, um, which actually would save me time. Why didn't I think about this before? What the heck? Well, I, I mean, originally it was just because I didn't have that many charms. So I didn't feel like it was worth it for me because it would literally one each. So it would be like sold out, sold out, set out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I may work on that. The only problem with that would be the bundle. With the bundle, so with the bundle, you'll just have to look at them and tell me which one you want and not put it in your cart because then it would charge you for it. Hmm, I wonder how I could do that. Because with the bundles, it comes with your oyster and your choice of charm. I'll talk to my webmaster. I have a webmaster. Maybe she can make it to where the charm would come out free. You would just choose it with your bundle. I'll see if she can do that. I'm sure she can. Um, she's pretty talented. I love her. She's amazing. She's the one that designed my entire website. Found her on Fiverr and has been the best thing that's happened to me since I started Mommy Boutique because every time my site crashes or I need to add something, she is amazing. She even worked on Thanksgiving because I had um, my site crashed on Thanksgiving. 
and I was having a Thanksgiving sale and she literally worked on Thanksgiving for me. And I apologized out my woo woo. And I was like, I am so sorry. And she's like, no, no, don't worry. And yeah, she got my website up and running again within like hours. Oh, love her. <clears throat> oh, you like my shirt? Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm totally slouching. I think my husband didn't see me. He would yell at me because I always slouch and he's like, stop slouching. So yeah, Jurassic Park. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we'll be live until about 11 or 1130, depending on how long the orders go for. So we are, we are, we are, we are, some, I just got Canadian. What a great helper. Um, but anyway, so we are still taking live orders and I'll tell you again what our sales are just in case you missed it the first time. Um, we don't have any more scallops. <gasps> what happened to our scallops? Jessica. Okay. Slouch. It's part of life. So we do have our BOGO with the buy one, get one on our scallops. And that's go good until the end of this month. So once the end of this month is over, the sale is over. So buy one, get one free on our scallops. Uh, originally $18. Or you can do the bundle for $27 and get two uh, scallops for the price of one. The bundle comes with your necklace. We are doing a sale for our boutique jewelry items. So if you order something from our boutique line on the website, scroll down, it'll say boutique line. Um, that excludes our, our studs. So not the stud earrings or the little uh, things that you drill. So the ones that are like five to $10, those are not included in this special. It's just the actual jewelry, the ones that come with the necklace or the rings or the bracelets. Those, those are our jewelry line items. Um, if you order any of those, you'll get a free oyster. So like, for instance, if Jessica wanted to add um, a jewelry piece to her item, let's say she wanted that um, angelic necklace. If she added that, um, then she would be getting a free oyster opening tonight as well. Even though she may not even want to drill the oyster, uh, maybe she wants to do it for the white uh, scallop, she would still be getting one for free. So that's how that works. And then the other special is if you get any red pearl, either out of our scallops or our oysters, you will be getting a free prize. The prizes vary, but most of the time it's jewelry. I'll show you some of our jewelry line items. This is from Paparazzi Jewelry. No, I do not sell this. So do not ask me the names or the styles or anything like that. This is $5 jewelry. I will repeat that. $5 jewelry. So if it tarnishes or breaks, do not come yelling at me because it is not mine. Um, <laughs> my name, Mommy Boutique, is not on this. This is Paparazzi. Um, but I am giving this away because we did have a sponsor from Paparazzi Jewelry sponsor one of our videos. And I bought a whole bunch of Paparazzi to give away to you guys. So this is part of our free prizes. And I let you pick it out. This is called Keep a Glow Profile. It's very pretty. Comes with earrings. These are the $5 necklaces. And if you guys ever see pieces that I show you that you really like and want, just note they are $5. You can order one. I can just invoice you. Um, they're, they're $5 jewelry. So. I, I know what you meant, Dorothy. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take my finger coughs off for now. Um, if anybody else wants to order, we are still taking live orders. Uh-oh. What happened to my, my YouTube? Did you guys all go away? My YouTube is blank. I think YouTube's acting up tonight, which is odd because YouTube's usually the one that's tried and true. Where my peeps at? Where my peeps at? <clears throat> Did I freeze? Still got me over at Facebook. All right. So those of you who are on YouTube, it looks like YouTube might be glitching tonight. I'm so sorry because usually I'm yelling at Facebook about glitching, but it seems like YouTube might be glitching. Jessica said she lost me there for a minute and had to come back on. So if that's the case, head over to Facebook. You might be able to still see me. Uh, we have about 15 minutes and uh, we're going to go ahead and call it a night unless we get some more orders. So the party will go on as long as the orders keep coming. So um, we can go on until 1 a.m. if we need to. 
Um, but once the orders stop, then we stop the party, usually around 11 or 1130. Uh, we have gone until 1 a.m. before, so really just depends on how many orders we get in the night. I'm up for shucking because I'm a mother shucker. I like me some shucking. I love to shuck it, y'all. Y'all know that? I need some pearl therapy. Thanks to Jessica for giving me that pearl therapy tonight. Whoop, whoop. The show must go on. Amanda, were you here? <gasps> Amanda's here. I saw Amanda. Um, my girl, Amanda, I saw your heart. Thank you, Amanda. All right, guys. I always get weirded out when I'm just talking to myself, which I know it seems strange since I do live videos. You'd think that I'd be used to talking to myself, but it kind of I, like, I don't know. I can see that, Dana. What's going on with YouTube? I was just saying that, like, usually it's Facebook that I'm yelling at, but it seems like YouTube is is having some difficulties. I wonder if YouTube is mad at me. You weren't here the other night, Zana, but I did a big no-no as far as uh, YouTube is concerned. Hopefully they didn't flag me. So I don't know if you can still see me, Zana, but I played YouTube videos on my phone during a live pro party. It keeps disconnecting, which is really weird because on my end, it doesn't say anything. Like usually if it's a bad signal, it'll say bad signal. Maybe head over to Facebook. But anyway, so I was showing, um, I guess so, Dorothy. Um, so usually, or no, I was showing some um, YouTube videos on my YouTube Pearl Party because nobody was buying anything. And it was just like a couple of people on there. So we were just kind of chit-chatting. And I was like, oh my gosh, have you seen this video? And they were like, no, let me see it. So I, po I posted or I put up the video. And then I got this message across my screen from YouTube that said, um, you're in copyright violation and this video will be, um, what it say? It will be disconnected within so many, so much minutes or whatever. And I was like, Hey guys, I just got a message from YouTube, which I knew I was going to have to delete the video. And I was like, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the video and call it a night. So I, I did, I got off and I deleted the video, but I'm wondering if because of that, maybe they are flagging me. I hope not. I mean, I'm I'm showing YouTube videos on YouTube. You'd think that they would be okay with that. It is YouTube. I'm just promoting YouTube. But I like YouTube most of the time. I don't know what's going on tonight. I wonder if I should just end it and come back. Although I think, I don't know if anyone else is going to order, but we're almost done for the night anyway. So I might go ahead and call it a night early. Yeah, Jessica said that happened to her earlier. Hopefully she got to see all of her stuff. YouTube is that one pretty teenager who didn't like that you said heck and starts flagging everything. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We have that on uh, TikTok all the time. Guys, just so you know, I am wearing our mixed pearl bracelet, our, our next mixed pearl necklace set. It is a necklace and a bracelet. It is on sale on the website. If you guys want to order it, you can get it in this exact color or we have all different colors. I do have it in pure red, which is amazing. Oh my gosh. Um, let me see the price on it. Cause I forgot. I forgot the price. It is freshwater pearls by the way. Um, but it is gorgeous. Uh oh. Here comes the yawns. Sorry, guys. Let me see if I can find the mixed pearl necklace. So it's $65. So not bad at all. $65. You're going to get a bracelet and a necklace. Beautiful. There you go. $65. It never messes up. So we give them one night to get it together. Yeah, true. It doesn't usually. I, that's what I was saying, Zana. I always yell at Facebook because Facebook is the worst. And I'm always like, go to YouTube, go to YouTube, go to YouTube. And tonight, y'all are on YouTube and it's like, what's going on, YouTube? I don't know. Maybe they're punishing me from for, you know, getting flagged the other night. <laughs> Seashell Sheena is now Sleepy Sheena. I am always Sleepy Sheena. I have three kids 
and I am the taxi. So I run around all day long with, you know, doing appointments. And then um, I work, which I know is not a big deal, but I work two days a week um, at my church with chi- with children. And Zana knows when you work with kids, it is exhausting. Um, Cause even if you're not running around with them, let's say that they're all sitting playing a puzzle. It's still exhausting because you're mental, you're mentally watching them. Like you have to make sure that this one's not hitting this one and this one's not poking that one and this one's not stealing this one's toy. And like it's mentally exhausting, even if you're not physically exhausted. So after I work with the kids all day, I am so tired. I didn't work with them today. I just ran around. But we had a had kind of a rough day. Um, if you want to get personal, um, we're gonna be visiting my grandmother who's in her 90s. She's in the nursing home. Uh, we're going to be visiting her on Monday because the kids have off of school and Johnny has off of work and she lives way up in St. Petersburg. So it's quite a while. It's like a two hour, maybe even a two and a half hour drive. Um, but she's not doing very well. She actually just went into um, congestive or has conjunctive heart failure. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, so I'm really worried. Um, I know she's older, so we've kind of been expecting this, but you know, she's still my grandma and it's, you know, it's difficult, especially with Johnny's mom having cancer and everything that's going on. It's just, I don't want to lose her, but I get it. You know, when it's your time, it's your time. So we definitely want to go see her. Um, I mean, she may live for another five years. We never know, but I want to go see her. So I've kind of been stressed out about that as well. After babysitting, I don't, I become don't disturb that. Yeah, it is really mentally and physically exhausting. Like some people don't realize that, uh, especially kids who don't work. A, people who don't work with kids, excuse me. Um, they don't realize it because they think, Oh, well it's kids and it's fun, but really it's mentally and physically exhausting. I mean, you have to, you know, care for their every need and chase them around, especially if you're on the playground, if you're on a playground with them, that's really difficult. That's the time where I'm really like focused on the kids. And afterwards I'm always like, man, I'm so mentally drained right now. Yeah, it's, it's, um, you know, like I said, it's not like she has cancer or, you know, dying from a disease, which we're thankful for, you know, she doesn't have diabetes or anything. She's just old. I mean, she's in her nineties. She's just an older woman and her body's breaking down and, you know, we're kind of expecting it, but in the same breath, it's just, she's my grandma. She's the one who introduced me to Dolly. She's the one who babysat me for most of my life. Um, I love her. I love her so much. Um, she means the world to me. So She is, um, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard when I lose her. So, um, I'm mentally preparing myself. (laughs) All right, YouTubers. Um, since it's messing up, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night early. We only have five minutes left anyway. So, um, and I don't have any other orders. So, uh, Jessica, I don't know if you can hear this. I don't know if, if, uh, you've been kicked off or come back on. I'm not sure, but I refuse to bring these kids to the park on my own. There's too many of them. Yeah, exactly. Dorothy, you can't like that. That to me is spooks me out. I have to have, if, if there's more than like three or four kids, I have to have other people helping me. That's why, um, it's hard for me to go to like theme parks and stuff without Johnny. Cause even though I have three kids like that panics me, like I have to, focus on the baby because the baby will get into trouble, but then I'm not focusing on Sasha or Kira as much. And then what, ha- I mean, what if they got taken on my watch and I would be like devastated, you know? So I always make sure that I go places, especially crowded places with people. Ah, uh, thank you. Anyway, Jessica, I don't know if you're still here, but thank you so much for saving the night tonight. I'm so excited that you got your scallops and uh, Paxton got his necklace. Ah, he's going to love it. Um, let me know if you want me to drill anything. I don't have to, but if you do want me to, let me know. Um, if not, then your order will be going out in the mail on Tuesday. Um, if you do want me to, to drill something, then you will have to um, wait until the previous week because it usually takes me two weeks to get to um, drilling. So just let me know. Thank you again, Jessica. I'm so excited for your order. It was great to have you here tonight. Zana, again, thank you for being here. I know you got to get up early in the morning, so uh, we won't keep you too, too long. And um, I, I already, I'm, I'm going to say it wrong again. Saline? Nope, I said it wrong. Anyway, random potato. <laughs> Thank you for joining. I am so sorry about the glitching YouTube. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully next time it won't be like that. We'll be back here on Monday, guys. So Monday, 
Oh no, wait, Monday is um President's Day. Okay. So I'll play that by ear. Check my Facebook page because we are going to visit my grandmother on Monday. She's in St. Petersburg and then we're going to Bush Gardens. So we may not be getting back until late. And if that's the case, I probably won't be doing a pro party, but I'll let you know. If not, um, you know, we can always do it again on Wednesday, but usually Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, 930 Eastern Standard Time. We are on Facebook and on YouTube. So make sure you join us and also have my TikTok guys, which is um, she shall Sheena on TikTok if you want to join me there and my Instagram mommy.boutique. Anyway, guys, have a great night. Mwah, mwah. We'll see you next time. Good night, everybody.